guys, welcome back to my channel, or of course, welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Olivia and I post a brand new video every single Wednesday and Sunday. So if you're not subscribed already, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also turn the notification bell on whilst you're there. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really, really helps me out. And other than that, let's just go ahead and jump straight into today's video. Okay guys, so first thing I wanna say is that please just excuse the fact that this eye is really red and really irritated and then the side of my face is a bit swollen. I think this sinus thing that I've got going on is really just messing with me. So yeah, that is probably why my eye looks a little bit weird and is watering, um, which is why I don't have much makeup on because it's really sore and aggravated. Anyway, so, oh, my hair's a bit of a mess. So as you guys know, I did a pretty little thing haul where I did a collab video of Chantel because I won a thousand pound in vouchers and we split that 50-50. So basically I ordered that back at the end of November. Some of the items were missing um, because they were out of stock. Then I had to send a load of returns back, which I sent back on the 15th of December. And it's now the 9th of January. So in almost the past month, that is how long it has taken me to get my vouchers refunded. It has been a headache. It has been, I've been passed from pillar to post until finally someone called Ash. Um, I don't know whether they're male or female, but just on the Facebook chat for Pretty Little Thing, someone called Ash was really, really helpful and gave me two of my voucher codes. So obviously I had the voucher code for the missing items and then I had a voucher code for my returns but they only gave me a partial code for the returns. So I'm still waiting on over 50 pound worth of vouchers, but I have got some goodies here that I have reordered on next day delivery. So I only got the vouchers through on Tuesday or Wednesday it was. So literally like took like three and a half weeks from the day I returned the items, took about three weeks to sort all of this out. And it's just been a massive headache. Um, like I said, a lot of their customer service wasn't great. I did not have a good experience. It was a massive headache, but I am glad that I managed to sort a refund. At one point, I just didn't think I was even gonna get one. Uh, it was just, yeah, it was a lot, to be honest. And it was a massive headache. But now I've got that out of the way, that brings me to today's video. And today's video is another haul with the extra bits that I've picked up, but this time I haven't bought any clothes. I could only do one return for the vouchers, so I didn't even wanna risk buying any clothes because their sizing was all over the place I found in my last haul. So I've ordered makeup and also homeware. Like I didn't know Pretty Little Thing did homeware, but apparently they do, so yeah. That is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you what I got. I've told you about my experience and honestly, I'm not sure if I'll be ordering from them again, to be honest, after the headache. Don't wanna talk about it too much, to be honest, because it's honestly stressed me out so much, like the amount that I've had to chase them to get a refunded voucher. I'm gonna start with the home bits. So they are in like these boxes. Um, I have already opened them because otherwise it would have been a nightmare. And it turns out, I don't think the Pretty Little Thing own the home range. I think they just sell things from other companies because this, I found cutlery. I found cutlery on the Pretty Little Thing website. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd buy it. It looked kind of cute. This is the Sass and Bell bamboo cutlery. Although it came like, I know this is like a, bamboo knife but I'm a little concerned as to why like there wasn't any ID checks or anything because um that's quite sharp <laughs> but here's the cutlery here it looks really cute um I can't really say much about it to be honest but I just thought it was really cute and like yeah useful in this little pouch I could probably like put it in my car or whatever obviously we're in lockdown at the minute but like for future like if I buy something and I don't have a fork I could just leave this in my car so yeah, that's the first thing that I got. Oh, my eye, guys. You're really just gonna have to excuse the fact that my makeup is coming off on my eye because it's really aggravated and sore. Um, but then the next thing that I got from their home range 
was actually again from Sass and Belle and this is a really cute mini vase and it's got like this little face on it and it's like this pinky red color and I thought that because it's a mini vase I thought this would be really cute to put my makeup brushes in so that is why I got this but yeah I think it's really cute I can't wait to use this and I think it was something like seven pounds maybe six or seven pounds it wasn't really wasn't um that expensive I'm sorry if I'm not smiling either because my face is really sore I'm not being miserable then next I have again it's something for my beauty room and this again is from Sass and Bell, so I'm guessing this is who provides pretty little things homeware stuff um if I can open this and this is a little trinket tray and it's just got this little abstract body on it and I just thought it was really cute so yeah I can use this to I always put lashes down and lose them so this will be really useful to put my loose lashes on so I don't lose them because I do it all the time I walk around the house and there'll just be lashes randomly then we have oh this one is actually from Pretty Little Thing and this is Pretty Little Thing Home and it is a candle I sent a candle in the floral scent obviously it's got some bubble wrap there but this smells really really nice I'm going to burn it and see what it smells like when it's burning but it does smell really really good and it's just got the little Pretty Little Thing on the front it's kind of cute I think it was something like five pounds so again wasn't really that expensive and then the final home thing that I have is this fake plant and it's just like a fake succulent in a pot and this is from the flower patch and it's just in this really nice grey this will go nice in my living room and then it's just got like this fake succulent material on the top but yeah it feels quite nice um doesn't feel too cheap and it looks quite cute as well right moving swiftly on to makeup let me get this out of here yeet right so the first thing i have is actually from pretty little thing and it is pretty little thing face and body jewels um little face pearls but I thought these looked really cute. I've seen all of those like euphoria makeup looks going around. So I picked these up so I thought I could do a little creative makeup look with these. And I didn't even realise Pretty Little Thing did stuff like this. Then I have something from Morphe 2 which I believe is like their more natural range. And this is, this is the Morphe 2 Brow Crush Tinted Brow Gel. And this is in the shade Auburn. So I'm really, really excited to try this out. I don't really have that many Auburn brow products because before I had dyed hair, so it was all like brown. But obviously I'm trying to match my brows to my hair now. Then I picked up these cute lashes from Peaches and Cream and these are the number 35 lashes. They look really, really nice and they are sort of the sort of style of lash that I like, like a lot of volume and stuff. So that's exciting. And then I just picked up a Sosu um, brush once I can get into it. And it's just this little bullet brush. And these are the types of brushes I love for packing colour into my crease. And this was in the sale for like £3. And I just thought, you know what? I can never have enough brushes. So yeah then moving on they've put the palettes in like these pretty little thing boxes and this palette i actually want to do a video with and this is the i heart revolution vegan burger palette um here's the box it's literally like a burger box and then you open it and the palette literally looks like a burger um i'm not going to show you the inside because i do want to do a testing video on this so definitely let me know in the comments if that is something that you're interested in and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video and then this palette i am so excited about i have wanted this palette for so long 
and this is the Be Perfect Stacey Marie Carnival palette here and then inside it's got all of these beautiful shades and I may or may not have a collaboration coming with this palette on Sunday so make sure you do not miss it but yeah really really excited about this one and then we're on to the last bag obviously um makeup is obviously I've picked some expensive pieces of makeup but this next bag has some more affordable pieces so in this next bag again I got something else from Morphe and this is the Morphe volumizing mascara make it big mascara but this is like a little mini version look how cute it is but I got this because I really want to try it but I also have lots of other mascaras open right now so I didn't want to get a full size one and waste it so I got this little one which I'm really really excited about and then I finally right so my friend Emily and Mick um they really really love peaches and cream pigments and I've been wanting to get some for a while and I finally picked one up I picked up Mermaids and it's like in this cute little mermaid box and then it's got like this it's like this white but with like all of these different colored reflex in like the blues and stuff it looks absolutely stunning I'm super excited to try this out in a look and then I got a few things from Makeup Obsession. So first up, I got the Makeup Obsession Sweet Like Candy Eyeshadow Palette. And as you can see on this little picture in the top corner, it's all the purples. And I have a good video idea with this one as well. And these are really affordable. They were like five pound and they're actually really cute. I think if they perform well, they'll be really good for when we can finally travel again. And then again, I got another one of these palettes. Everything's in lots of bubble wrap. I got the Sunshine It Makes Me Happy one here. And this one, if you can guess by the box, is all yellow. And here's the little picture on the back of this. And again, this was just five pounds. And I just thought they looked really cute because I really want to place an order on ColourPop. But in the meantime, these will, um, these will be good to play with until I can place an order on Colourpop. And then I picked up the NYX Ultimate Edit Petite Palette and it's all these matte bold colours. And I've wanted this for a while, this is the Brights one. And I haven't actually tried NYX eyeshadows before so yeah I'm really excited to test this out. And if you do want to see looks with any of these palettes, if I'm not doing a video on them, then they will be up on my Instagram. So make sure you go follow my Instagram. I'll leave it linked in the description box down below. But then I have the I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers palette, and this is the fiery one. And again, I think this was like five pounds. That's a little bit bigger than the Makeup Obsession ones, but I've seen Makeup with Alex Kate do a review on these, I believe, and they looked really good. So I thought I would pick one up. And then the last thing is in here, and I've never tried this brand before, but this is the La Roque Cosmetics Cocktail Collection Eyeshadow Palette. I've never tried La Roque Cosmetics before, but look how stunning these colours look. They look so bold and pigmented that I just had to pick it up and there's so many matte shades as well which I love. Like I do love a shimmer for like my eyelid or whatever but I absolutely love matte shades like but yeah so I'm really excited to do test this out. I'm thinking of doing a testing video on this palette as well because I think it was only like £12 or something. I might be wrong. If I'm wrong I will correct myself in the description box down below but yeah i'm really excited to try this out so if you want to see a testing video then make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below okay guys so that is it for this haul video thank you so much for being here and watching and listening to me ramble about my experience with pretty little thing honestly it has put me off from ordering from them again 
I'm not sure if I will or not. It's, I've just found the customer service really isn't that great. And I always want to keep it real with you guys on this channel. You know, I value my relationship with my subscribers more than my relationship with a brand. And I'm always going to be real with you guys. So yeah, but I did pick up some really nice bits. I know I didn't get any clothing bits, but with the fact that I wasn't sure if I could even return again, I was just like, I'm not dealing with that again. So I picked up loads of new makeup to try. If there is anything you wanna see a video on, then please, please just let me know in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. But yeah, thank you guys so much for being here and watching this haul video. If you enjoyed it and you wanna see more haul videos, then make sure you leave a big thumbs up and I will also leave my haul playlist in the cards if you wanna go and check it out where I do where I have a variety of different hauls. But yeah, that is it for this video. I really, really appreciate the support. Don't forget to subscribe, turn your notification bells on and give this video a big thumbs up. But I will see you on Sunday for a collab video, possibly a Be Perfect Cosmetics palette collab. So yeah, definitely come back on Sunday at 10 a.m. for a brand new video. Bye guys.